Today's paper is Transformers or RNNs. The paper proposes a method to solve the speed issue present in vanilla transformers, where having a long sequence length of n causes n square memory and time complexity. In this work, the authors express self attention layer as a linear dot product of kernel feature maps and reduces computation complexity and memory requirement from big O of n squared to big O of n. Furthermore, they reveal the relationship of the transformers to their recurrent neural networks. Left equation shows transformer as a function composed of L layers. The function f is usually composed of two-layer feedforward network, and the attention function a on the right equation acts across the whole input sequence to attend to the input features. In the attention function, query, key, and value representations are first calculated, and the softmax function is applied rowwise to q times transpose k matrix to calculate the similarity scores between query and the key. Because computing the attention output requires multiplying every query with all the keys, it results to quadratic computation complexity and memory requirement. To solve this problem, the authors first define more general form of the attention equation. Here, the authors uses an arbitrary positive similarity score instead of using exponential of dot products. The similarity function, which is shown in the second equation, can be written in the form of a kernel. And by using associative property of matrix multiplication, the equation can be further modified. Where now, instead of calculating the relationship between the queries and the keys, the equation first computes all the keys and the values. This means that the full attention matrix does not have to be computed. Also, because we can compute the summation of key and values in the numerator and the summation of k in the denominator only once, computational complexity and memory requirement reduces from big O of n squared to big O of n. Causal masking is used to efficiently train autoregressive transformers. Typically, an arbitrary masking is used to train autoregressive transformers. However, in this work, Arbitrary masking is not possible because the full attention matrix is not computed explicitly. Looking at the formulation of non-autoregressive and autoregressive transformers, the only difference is the usage of the full sequence length n or the current element i. In the autoregressive formulation, because we have to calculate each query with different key value matrix, Naively calculating k and v for each element i results to quadratic complexity. Instead, si and zi in the slide can be computed efficiently with linear time and constant memory. Instead of calculating si and zi for each element, we can take previously calculated si-1 and zi-1 to compute current si and zi. The formulation of transformer with causal masking can be expressed as a recurrent neural network. As shown in the figure, the state of transformer RNN is SI and ZI, where SI denotes attention memory and ZI denotes normalizer memory. Given ith as an input to the causal attention block, a new SI and ZI state is computed simply by taking the dot product of mapped key and values and summing it to the previous state. The figure shows the comparison of proposed non autoregressive method with reformer, softmax attention, and linear attention. As the sequence length grows, linear and reformer models scale linearly unlike the softmax version, which scales quadratically with the sequence length. As shown in the figure, the proposed method has better speed and requires less memory compared to the reformer with single locality sensitive hashing. The table shows the performance of autoregressive transformer models on image generation task. On MNIST dataset, proposed linear transformers achieve similar performance to the full softmax attention version, but with more than 300 times speed gain. Also, on CIFAR-10 dataset, 
The model generates images 4,000 times faster than the baseline softmax model. Lastly, here are some qualitative results generated by the proposed autoregressive model. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today and I'll see you next time with a new paper.